James Wallace, this wine is next. This is from the producer Valdoca. This is Extra Dry Prosecco. Stay tuned and I'll tell you about this wine. So here we go with this wine. Now, Prosecco used to be a wine that I probably wouldn't really look for as much as I am today. I think Prosecco, there's so many producers. This is a cooperative producer. There's about 600 grape growers and 800 hectares in the Veneto. And so when I think of this uh, wine, I have never tasted a cooperative uh, producer of Prosecco before. So this is my first time. I do know the label. I have heard of it before. Surprisingly enough, I've not tasted this, so it's really nice to taste this wine. I have another Prosecco review. I'll place that right up here in the YouTube cards for you to review. So definitely represents a really lovely uh, price point. And a lot of people, I think what they're going to do with a sparkling wine is maybe make a mimosa out of it, or a Bellini, or maybe even a Aperol Spritz. So I would say, so what a lot of people are gonna do with a lower price uh, Prosecco or sparkling wine it's to immediately put it in the category of a mixer. It's going to be just maybe for a mimosa, a bellini, or aperol spritz. So you can enjoy it on its own. It's quite delicious and enjoyable. Uh, just as you might serve this with any sparkling wine, I might serve this with almonds to begin with as a you know my beginning way of starting an evening out. So this might be a wine I start off with and serve almonds. Uh, warmed almonds would be really nice. And uh, to move forward with say other Valdoca wines throughout your experience, say at, at a dinner time. So this is Glada Grapes for the production of this wine, 11% EVV. So it's uh, extra dry, which probably means in the 14, maybe 18 range. I'm guessing 14 is my guess. I didn't see a tech sheet to verify that. Um, I definitely bring that information out if I do have that. But to me, that's uh, the point of where this wine is. And um, so I think this is a nice way to enjoy Prosecco because I think it really, uh, that bit of sugar goes a long way for this particular wine. So Prosecco extra dries, a really, I think, a really nice uh, experience. Now, looking online, this is available throughout the United States. It is around the $11 to $15 price point range, so it's quite affordable. So you get a really good value, a good tasting wine, and a good price point. So here we go first with the nose. The nose is, so white peach notes, freshly shelled pine nut, especially after roasting, has a really nice, uh, gorgeous, almost semi-sweet characterization, moistened oyster shell and white flowers. Nicely done. Next, the palate characterization. So this is really nice because it has a bit of white and yellow peach characterization. Yellow to me, yellow peach characterization really represents to me a bit of tartness, which I very much enjoy, as well as a bit of Asian pear note, uh, flowers, cornetto, cornetto being the Italian word for croissant, and a bit of crushed seashells. So this wine is a 93 point wine out of 100 points. So more reviews to come. Thank you for joining me today. Check out a wonderful Prosecco like this, very much affordable. Enjoy your Prosecco at least once a week because that's what I do. So I like this glass. This is by Home Guard. I like the characters, the uh, silhouette. It's very nice, probably shorter than most people would expect, but I think it's uh, nice and easy to store actually. And so it has a, a much nicer, uh, broader uh, mouth here. So you can smell the wine. Very important, even for sparkling wines, right? If you have a, a flute, you're not gonna smell anything because it's just too um, small for any sort of appreciation on the scent characterization. And that's important, why? Simply because that's how you're going to enjoy your wine. That's how the um, how our senses pick up that wine. So if you do not have a sparkling wine glass like that, simply use a, I would say a burgundy glass. So I think it's a nice way to really fully appreciate that experience. So thank you for watching. Let's stay connected. You'll find me on a variety of social media such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and WordPress. Alongside that will be my podcast, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Thank you for watching. Stay connected. Again, please subscribe if you have done so. You'll see the latest videos that I'm producing if you've done so. Cheers to you. Salute and give a like to the video. And that's also down below. Questions and comments can be listed there. More information on this producer will be listed there. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Salute.